Hello everyone. This It's been a long time since the last time that I've shown off some blush that I've made. Usually I finish them and package them up so fast I don't get a chance to. But today we're going to show off Sandbar here and we'll also show off Octavia. I have these currently because I'm making three other plush for the client before I can ship these along. So I decided to go ahead and share these. Now if you see any minky out of place, I actually use a toothbrush to just give it a little brushy. That's how a lot of plush artists will do. They'll usually use toothbrushes or some will have fancier brushes, but this dollar toothbrush works just perfect to get minky in order. So with this one, um, the commissioner really likes Sandbar and she wanted to make sure that I got his hair right because his hair is pretty like weirdly complicated. Like it doesn't look like it is because it's just two colors, but uh, if you look at his picture, um, I followed it as close as possible with that in mind because I want to get it as accurate as possible for her and making messy hair, like in real life, messy hair, no effort. You just wake up in the morning and you don't brush your hair. With plushies, messy hair is so much more effort than like normal hair, but like the effect here looks amazing. Sandbar is probably one of the favorites that I've made now. And you can see this effect doesn't really get across too much in pictures and stuff, but on his hair, he has three like of these blue things. And I layered it in a way that you can get the effect on looking at it in person but it's kind of hard to see it on the flat, like camera or pictures, you know, plane. Yeah, you can see I even got these little things, this here. He's even got his little hairs back here, his little messy tail and sea turtle cutie mark. He's just, he's just quite the cutie overall. I love his little ears. I just, I love how his hair came out. It came out so good. The colors aren't showing up as vibrantly on the camera, but he is quite vibrant, like these, this, oh, it's beautiful. He is a beautiful plush. You really need to see him in person to get the full effect of this guy right here. And then another one for her, or them, I'm not 100% sure their gender, is Octavia. They had wanted Octavia to have the little collar and the bow, which I made sure to get on there. But yeah, you could see her. The way her hair is... It's different than a lot of the other ponies. Like, um, they'll have their hair coming around here, but hers hangs more down towards the back. So I had to make sure I got the effect where the hair was going straight down. So that way I could get her a hair, the right proper effect here. And also with this hair right here, I do have the little lines like she has on her reference sheet. It's just really hard to show, you know, unless you get really close, you can kind of see it. It's hard to show in pictures. She does have her little collar and her little bow tie. You can see her little collar more on this side without her hair in the way. And her beautiful cutie marks. So yeah, I was tempted to make a cello for her <laughs> so she could play her instrument. She is just such a cutie. I absolutely adore how she came out. She didn't take too super long to make. I think she just took a couple of hours like maybe three or four with embroidery probably closer to four to get the program to work and everything him though his hair took me like six hours to get everything figured out and to build on with it and everything and give it the effect that i wanted to but that was my choice i could have done it a lot sooner but I really wanted to take the time I always take try to take the time with my plushies of course but with this one with the client really liking him and wanting his mane and colors and everything to be as good as possible I really wanted to give her the extra time to make sure this messy mane was just like it is in the show so I hope you enjoyed these two I have two other ponies I can show off in a video and I'll probably do that sometime this week I really appreciate you guys being patient with me too, as I've just been posting commentary lists at speed sews. Just been very busy and with a lot of things that are going on and everything. And YouTube is a hobby for me. So sometimes I won't be able to upload the stitch and dishes and everything like I like to do. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Coming up um, sometime soon, I'm actually doing a small one day show called Mask Con. And Mask Con is, um, 
it's a show put on by a local comic store around here. It's not going to be very big. It's going to be outdoors, so that way you make sure that, you know, you have less chance of catching sicknesses and everything. And it's called Mask Con, so you know they're going to require masks. <laughs> so I've decided to try it out and just see how it goes. It's, I figure with the low attendance like this, it's a great way of seeing if shows going forward will be something that I'm able to do being high risk. So we'll see how that goes. I'll definitely vlog and show you how that con goes. So you kind of can get an idea of how things are going to be in this, you know, time timeline that's going on now. So hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are in the Lexington, North Carolina area, that's where the con will be held. And I will be there on October 10th from 10 to 6. So take care, guys.